Nation. I'm CJ, aka the Cigar Man, and I hope you guys are ready for another good video. Um, hopefully, you guys have already uh, subscribed, liked, and shared these videos. Also, I'm hoping that you guys already have looked and uh, reviewed episode six of the build of the 1962 Chevy pickup truck. Now we're about to view the episode seven of the build and it's gonna be a good one. So sit back, get your popcorn ready, and let's get to it. All right, so I finally got my fan shroud welded up. I took my fan blade off of my motor there, as you can see. Now I got me a floor I hooked up. Then I'll look myself. It's hard to find people to help you out, so you gotta figure it out yourself. I got a wire to my battery. I hit my battery in my cast. Then I took it and ran out through here. It's a little bird's nest down there now, but I will eventually have all that taken care of. But so far, man, this truck is running good. I haven't really drove it. I gotta figure out a place to put my transmission cooler line. So far I have no leaks, thank goodness. All this stuff will be gone. I have to mount this here inside my dash. I already got gauges. Put the radiator support on there. I made this piece here to go over that. Just give it a more clean look. Put two rivets in there. Sound good. Right, guys as you can see I'm at my favorite location to shoot these little intro videos and stuff I got Dale and Richard back in the background getting back to the truck as you guys can see I'm working on that rear end I got a custom Boyd's gas tank made specifically for that 1962 Chevy pickup truck and if you guys are interested in where I got this um, tank and stuff and uh, some of the dimensions and everything just write a, a comment below and I'll be sure to get back with you um, we also um, put a champion radiator in the front for the radar and everything. Very inexpensive. It goes very well uh, with my truck and everything. So I think the combinations uh, work out very fine. Only thing that I would have did different is that, as you can see, I actually put airbags um, on that frame. Um, as I went along and started trying to um, get no leaks or whatever, it was very hard. So if I had to do it all over again, I would never put air rides on my truck. They're cool and everything when we go into these car shows. But far as um, actually, you know, performance, performance it just didn't do what I thought they was going to do. Um, it made the truck ride very smooth, but I always had problems with, with these leaks um, in these air rides. So I use AccuWare, um, and like I said, the system, was very, the system was very simple to put together, and I did all that myself as well. But like I said, I would never do it again. So without further ado, let's get back into this video.
I got in store for you are some custom gauges. I made a template out of the original gauges that was on the truck. I took them to my local CNC guy. I told him what I wanted and I put those gauges in that truck and I painted the bezel and everything and they worked out awesome. our room as you guys can see in the previous videos. And if you haven't watched those on previous videos, go back and let's get videos you know. so, you, so you guys can get all caught up and see where we're at. So also, we started on the hood and as you guys can see, I do not have a lot of room in my garage. It's only a two car garage. So um, I got with my buddy Lee. He owns a little body shop around the corner and he let me finish up the hood and, and everything for spraying the hood um, at his shop. I did all the body work and everything in my shop, um, but it was just gonna be so hard to paint that um, I already got the cab and I got a lot of pieces laying around and I just didn't want to take a chance of scratching anything up. So um, this clip here will show me over at Lee's place um, and we are, and he actually helped me paint these parts and stuff. I, I just get kind of got tired of painting. So I think he sprayed like one of the fenders and um, he actually helped me spray the hood. So we actually tacked this together and we had fun doing it. Hey, you can do the same thing. So without further ado, let's get into this video.
today we have reached the end of episode 7 the build i hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like and share give me a good big thumbs up so we can make a lot more of these videos i'll catch you guys on episode 8 and smoke them if you got them